I'm Dave Alhadif. I'm uh, the owner of The Future Perfect and uh, a partner in ANG Merch. And I'm also a designer. And I was the designer of the sales office and apartment at 125 North 10th Street. We work with a lot of people here in Brooklyn and we nurture sort of talent within the community, showcase wares from them, and really like focus in on like emerging, young, new design. The energy is really great. It's really eclectic and fun. And I think as you can kind of see, here, it's sort of a, a neat, fun place where you see things you just don't see anywhere else. I like to think about it as like, you know, traditional with color. The name of the Future Perfect, I think, speaks to two ideas. One is, one is a tense, which is very much the way people talk about creative ideas. Um, the Future Perfect translates to, I will have done that then. And it's that idea of like sitting around and, you know, brainstorming and thinking like, you know, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna put this on top of it and it's gonna look like this when it's finished. And that's very much the future perfect as a tense. And then also um, it speaks to the group that I have here at the store. I like to think of these designers as, you know, tomorrow's Eameses. So the project at 125 North 10th Street, Doug, Doug approached me sort of through this store and said, you know, hey, I know you're involved with working with a lot of people in the neighborhood. What I brought to him, which was very, synchronistic the way he was thinking about the project was doing the project using materials and work from the local community so that everything within the space actually tells a story about the Williamsburg neighborhood. A piece that speaks to what I think we did in the project as well as the neighborhood is the skateboard coffee table which is sort of a very simple minimally designed sort of very modern looking piece of industrial design which I think speaks to sort of the architecture of, of the project. And then the skateboard trucks make reference to sort of the neighborhood. I also used pieces from Scrap Pile who are local to the neighborhood. They make all their work in Greenpoint. They do that beautiful multicolored wood table. And it's a, a, a green design project. They use old scraps of wood. They put them together and make these one of a kind furniture pieces right here in Brooklyn. So in, in other aspects of designing the project, I used um, a lighting sconce from John Wigmore, who's local to the area. John Wigmore does these lighting pieces, which are beautifully framed stainless steel sculptures that he then paints on top of with paper, you know? So he, he takes sort of this Japanese paper and, and applies it layer by layer onto the, to the object to create almost like a fiberglass-like effect that becomes this lighting element. I used work from Sarah Syhat and her 50 cents rehabilitated dishware collection. She's local to the neighborhood. Sarah Syhat does this really amazing project where she uses old dishes and then sort of reglazes them with a new iconic image on them. And she takes otherwise like throw away and creates something highly valuable out of that. Jason Miller uh, does the antler fixture that's in the bed bedroom. It's sort of his most well-known piece and it's cast antlers in ceramic and it takes a very traditional, sort of very iconic item in design and kind of turns it up on its head and makes it this like shiny, glossy thing. I think I think one of one of my favorite pieces that I used, which I think is the perfect metaphor for what's going on in the neighborhood, is the is this sort of graffiti um, chair here. If you look around the neighborhood, I mean, it's just covered in graffiti and a lot of sort of like street art. So I thought that that created this sort of like conversation. And then what speaks to sort of the new development is the part that it sort of has a fancy feeling. You know, it's a beautiful object at the end of the day. And I think that that speaks very well to the project, which is ultimately a very beautiful project. Like for a graffiti thing, it's pretty, it's a pretty, you know, sort of fancy chair, which I kind of like.